In today's session, we're going to look at the poem on head blindness and we're going to explore some of the ideas and possibly make some connections to some of the other poems in the anthology that are about this kind of idea of reflection and regret and family connections. What's quite nice about this poem when you compare it to a poem like Effects, for example, um, is the way in which this um, this memory comes to light as, as the narrator is going through the process of recalling different ways that they've interacted with a parent and the ways in which that's impacted their later to life but what's really different about this one in comparison um, is the kind of dark humour that's running through it as well it's a very different style of narrative voice even though potentially the themes are quite similar. In terms of features of form what's really important to note here is the unrhymed couplets so we've got this sense again of disconnection but the couplets being obviously the mother and the son uh, and this sense of disconnect but there are occasional rhymes um, within these, within the within the poem, and at those moments we kind of are reminded of the kind of um, sporadic connections, I guess, between the two, uh, between the speaker and his mother. What is interesting in structurally as well is the sense of disorientation that comes from moments of disorder in the poem, um, and again that's quite mimetic of the the disorientation of the blindness as well. My mother could not bear being blind, to be honest. Now. Again, if you if you look at this opening statement, it's colloquial, it's chatty, it's friendly, it's informal. Um, and again, we get this sense that the narrator is talking to us in quite a cathartic way, recalling some of these memories, maybe with some guilt, regret, remorse, but crucially, just kind of being honest about something that, um, that maybe they haven't been able to be when the mother was alive, perhaps. Um, one shouldn't say it and we get this sort of proper Britishness about the um, about the sort of tone of that one um, it being sort of very vague and reflective of exactly what the sentiment is being spoken about um, you've got the plosive my mother could not bear being blind um, the frankness of to be honest and the cesura that sort of says one shouldn't say it you know there's this kind of like intention to be realistic and the intention to be candid but also the awareness that you should be polite about it as well one should not one should hide the fact that catastrophic handicaps are hell one tends to hear. Uh, so you've got this really nice balance of tones here where this really candid honest outpouring is punctuated by the kind of sombering sense of obligation as well. You've got the fricatives, handicaps are hell to hear um, and the, the sense of hyperbole there in the, in the catastrophic. Uh, publicly from those who bear like a Roman or somehow find joy in the fight. Uh, so we've got this kind of stoic representation of the older generation. It's sort of as if the younger generations are the ones who lead with the candid and lead with the open narrative. And yet it's the older generation, the voice in the back of their head, that kind of parental voice maybe, um, or the influences of the more stoic generations who bear tragedy and catastrophe far more silently maybe than the younger generations. <laughs> 